Hey guys, welcome back to the welcome back to the channel. My name's Shaupel, and I don't have my mask on with me because we are moving into a new house. So I do not have my mask on with me because I didn't bring her yet. But today I am making a um my word count book collection because Aaron Hunter is my all-time favorite author. But actually, it's not just Warrior Cat. It's basically just all my Aaron Hunter books published by him. I mean her. It's a her, but there actually are four Aaron Hunters, I believe. Because, I mean, they're not, like, all named Aaron Hunter, but I guess that's what they call themselves. But anyway, so their main series they wrote was Rear Cats, I believe. Or Warriors, whichever you want to call it. Which I think is the most popular. Now, just a heads up before I start this video. If you do not like spoilers, I don't. I recommend you don't watch this video. But if you're never going to read Warriors, but you're just interested in it, um, you can watch this. Because I'm going to be kind of just, you know, spoiling. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but I mean, some, some of the ones that I've already read, I'm going to kind of just walk through them with you if um you know all that stuff but anyway let's start off with the first series of warriors which i do not have a, the second series yet because i'm not yet finished with the first series <sighs> i only started reading these books at least eight months ago i mean or 11 even months but i am a kind of a slow reader but who cares so, the first one is Into the Wild. I can barely remember this one because, of course, it was so long ago that I read this one. And um, I got the new cover out of it. I don't have the old covers of any of these, so don't even ask. I am not going to collect the old covers because it, because I'm just not going to read them. And I only buy the Warriors books that I am going to read. So, you know, I just don't know. Anyway, so, um, so, ThunderClan clashes with RiverClan, R Rusty joins the ThunderClan, um, he becomes an apprentice, and Redtail dies, um, Lionheart dies, Blue Star loses a life, and there are a lot of deaths, and he goes into battle whenever they think... Yellow Fang cooks some Thunder Queen kids. <laughs> then Fire and Ice. Again, this is one that's kind of hard to remember, although it wasn't that long ago that I read it. It's just kind of hard to remember. But I believe it's. So, Fireheart. I, I don't know. I don't. I can't remember that one. You know, and I don't think there's very much that goes on in that one anyway, so. Yeah, there's not much to remember. Fire and Ice, if I ever go back and read it, it's probably going to be one of my least favorites. But, um, let me just read the blurb on the front. Maybe it'll remind me of something. Can't find it. I cannot find it. What the heck is going on? I cannot find it. There's only the blurb at the front. Oh, here it is. Oh, I remember now. Okay, so, um, Fire and Grish are going on a mission to save Wing Clan. They bring them back home. White Claw dies in the gorge. Um, and such. <laughs> such a friendly book now into forts of secrets which is probably one of my favorites because a lot of action goes on in here so silverstream dies and she has kits which that's how she dies by kidding and uh, they say some river acclaimed kits they um they help river clan until blue star finds out well, Tiger Claw, technically. And, yeah, that's... And then, um... Broken Star, Broken Tail, 
dies because yellow fang fed them death berries. Also, just a little heads up if you are going to read these books. Um, I recommend kids under the age of seven should not read these. They can get violent. A lot. Maybe six-year-olds would be fine, but these books can get pretty violent. And, um, I don't know. It's like, oh, look, there's a cat that just killed her own son. Because that's totally a little Jimmy. Today I'm going to read you a story. Oh, look at that. That, um, that cat's all beat up. And that cat's, uh, eyes bulging out. You know, that's just, uh very very friendly book but anyway a lot of action goes on there probably one of my favorites but of course i'm not even that far into the series then rising storm which i'm currently reading um of course i can't really spoil anything for this because i have not completely read it and i'm only on page like 50 something so yeah all right now let's move on to uh manga which i only have one i only have one manga my side little manga but, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, manga is like comic books, basically, and, um, I only have the rights of Scourge, but I don't know, I've always found comic books kind of confusing, because you never know what kind of, like, thing goes next, which is, I, I read this, like, two times, because it's really good. Of course, I watched a video that's, like, the rise of Scourge, and I kind of already knew what was going on, but... You know, it's still really good, and I recommend you get it, and, yeah, which I'm going to have to get more manga soon, because that's my lo one little lonely manga. Anyway, on to, I don't know what to call this stack, it's just like books, like, to kind of overview all the history and stuff. So I have Enter the Clans, which is a big book, and it includes, um, uh, Warriors Field Guide, Secrets of the Clans, and Warriors Code of Clans. Whichever Code of the Clans, although I don't have it because at our school we have a library and I got it there and I read it. It was really good. And I'm still in my pajamas, so don't mind me. Um, I'm still in my floofy pants, but. Um, so yeah, I read kind of far into it. Not that far though. And then. We have the Warriors the Ultimate Guide, which just basically tells about cats, such as One Star and uh, Blue Star and J Feather and Goose Feather and Squirrel Flight or Sandstorm, whichever one that is. I think it's Sandstorm. Yeah, anyway, that's Warriors the Ultimate Guide. I could have sworn there was like a poster or something, but I guess there's not. Cause look, it's just the link. But, and then another the cover. There's no new exciting cover, it's just the same. So it doesn't even matter if I take it off of it, it's still gonna be the same. Which, so, you yeah, know, it's kind of boring. Anyway, now let's go on to these things these triplet stories, which I only have one. Yay! I'm so exciting, which I've read one of these at my uh, school. I can't remember what it was, but what the name was, but it was, I had like Spotty's Heart, Pine Stars Choice, I believe, and um, Thunder Stars something, Thunder Stars something, it had something about Thunder Star. I can't remember what the name was, but I think it was like Secrets of the Clan or something, but. This one includes Holly Lee's story, Misty Stars and Men, and Cloud Sky's Journey. And that's the only one I have. I've kind of started reading it, and I don't have very many bookmarks. I use a lot of my bookmarks. So, yeah. Um, then, let's go on to the special editions, or the super editions. So, I tried to put them in order. The last two, I just assumed they were in that order, so, yeah. So, Blue Stars Prophecy, I do not have Firestar's Quest. I'm probably going to think about getting that soon, but... Blue Stars Prophecy is the only one I have now. I'm probably going to think about getting it. Oh, wait. Tell Stars of Thunder is the only one that has the same one back here. I'm going to think about getting. Um, I'm going to think about getting Firestar's Quest and.
the Fisher's Quest Sky Star or Sky Clans something. <laughs> then I also have Cricket Stars Promise, which I was really eager to get it because Cricket Star is probably one of my favorite cats. And but Running Wind is my fave, but I really wanted Cricket Stars Promise because I want to know more about his childhood. That's basically me. Let's try and find it here. Yeah, well, it's Sky Clan's Destiny and, as well. And such. But anyway, Cricket Stars Promise. I wanted to know more about his childhood. So that's why I got it. Anyway. Then, um, next is Yellow Fang Secret. I haven't got too far into the book yet. Um, I need to focus on one of my super editions. But. Yeah, so this is the old thing secret. You know, I just got it because it was a super edition, basically. Anyway. And then Holster's Revenge. These are the last two that I just assumed they were in this order. So, I don't know. I just assumed Tall Stars Revenge was before Moth Bites Vision. So, Tall Stars Revenge, I haven't started reading this one yet. I probably should, but... Yeah. That's Tall Stars Revenge. Oh, and I can't really spoil any of these because I haven't even gotten that far into them, so yeah. And then Moth Lights Vision, which I actually started reading at one point in time. I didn't like... The page didn't get lost, but I just... It's been so long since I read it. And I can't remember a thing that was going on before. So I had to start over, but... I haven't started starting over yet. And there's a stupid plane, or whatever it is. Stupid. It's been a ding-dong, but... Anyway... So those are all my warriors. It's mainly all I have, but uh, now let's go on to the Survivor series, which again I do not have. I only have series one. These pages are like really glossy compared to the others. Anyways, I have Survivors: The Empty City. I I have started reading this one. I haven't got far into it because I've been mainly just focusing on my warriors books. Anyway, I. Um, also have a hidden enemy, just so I can be able to read it whenever I finish the Empty City. I'm also thinking about getting the novellas, like the triple story things, like this one. Except it's Survivors, so. And then I also have Darkness Falls. And I don't know why I want to get the bro a Broken Path, the Broken Path, because it's the fourth book. But, um, I don't know, whenever I go to Mar Barnes & Nobles, I can never find it. And it's so weird, but, of course, I might have to order it. Then I also have Survivor's Red Moon Rising. I got it because the name got, uh, sounded cool. Um, it's book four of, um, The Gathering Darkness. So I'm probably going to think about getting uh, book one, book two, book three as well. So I can read those first because I would have no idea what's going on. Yeah, hang on, is this, is, 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 The Gathering Darkness the, uh, second series? I really don't know what the heck that was, but it was in my bookshelf, so I'm just going to assume it's not anything I should be concerned about. We don't have Seekers, though, and, um... I do not know if The Gathering Darkness is the uh, second series or not. <laughs> I'll have to figure that out. But, um, anyway, the last book is Brave Lands, which is Aaron Hunter's new series. I only have book one. I was going to get book two, the um, Code of Honor, but I'm not even close to finishing the book yet. So, I wasn't even going to bother it. So, um, yeah. I think after Aaron Hunter finishes Brave Land, um, I think they should do um, a series about wolves. Then I would be complete. Yes, I would be. That would probably change to my new favorite series, Warriors Is, but 
I mean, <laughs> I was really thinking Survivors would change to my favorite series. But I don't know. Survivors is just kind of emotional, and I don't know. It's just, Warriors is still my favorite. I don't know. I think it's just because there's so much action in it. And Survivors, I don't know. I mean, there's action, but I don't know. Anyway, those are all my Aaron Hunter books. Let me count. I think I have like 17 or 18, but. Wait, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, I have eighteen, but. You see, I'm not the biggest warrior fan in the world. I mean, I mean, um, not meaning that like I love warriors. I love warriors. I love Aaron Hunter's books. I love it. But I mean, I don't have like all the books. Like some people have, like some people have like Warriors Into the Wild old cover, hard cover. I don't even think they had a hard cover for this, but some people just do. Like, for some books, they have, like, the old cover, the new cover, and the hard cover. And I'm not that crazy of a Warriors fan. I mean, I mean, I love Warriors. I keep it, I keep saying I'm not a big Warriors fan, but I am. I love Warriors. That's my all-time favorite series. Aaron Hunter's my all-time favorite author. I wish I was sponsored, but I'm not. I don't know if they could sponsor me, which is good. Because I love their books. But anyway, guys, smash that subscribe button and that like button. Sorry I don't have my mascot. <laughs> Comment down below what videos you would like to see next. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Peace out and have a shadow day.